Chris and this is my Lego Technic Ferrari video. So this one is out of stock, which means it could possibly be discontinued from Lego. You see what it costs. I got an open box. So let's look at another open box because once I have a bad experience with these open boxes, I'm probably not gonna do the open box anymore. All right, so I think I did pay 172 for this one, but he said the box was damaged. So I don't remember if this is a built set or not. It seems like it's a new set that just has a damaged box. And he did what you never do. Don't ever take your tape and put it over the box like that, okay? So let's see what happens when we start to do this. I gotta get it off. So don't ever tape the boxes up like that. I got it off. It looks better without it, even though I did screw the box up. Moment of truth, is this new or old? Looks new. What the frick? It's always cool that you can get a brand new set like this. Freaking awesome. Now this is a freaking binder right here. This has some weight to it. I would like to not even open this, but we have to. And this is like when you buy a new car. So all it was the stickers and the instructions. I don't know anything about Ferrari. I guess a little history lesson. So this one is built in five stages. I'll give you an update after each stage. I'm gonna estimate this one taking six or seven hours to build. All right, so stage one. So about an hour and a half to complete stage one. Okay, so the guy that designed this one obviously understands structure and support really well. There's no way on earth that the same person designed this and that white Porsche, because the white Porsche just doesn't go together as smooth as this one. So far, I'm super impressed. Let me go ahead and get stage two complete. All right, so about two and a half, maybe three hours, step 181. This is another fun build so far. Let's go ahead and get started on stage three. I am having more fun building this than the white Porsche. This one seems a bit better planned out, better designed. It is $20 more than the white Porsche when they were new. But I thought I was going to hate this one, and I'm not. Let me go ahead and finish up step four. So we're step 457, and I actually, from start, about four hours straight to that step. This build is so much fun. It's a lot better than the white porsche and i'm gonna go ahead and finish this thing up and we'll let you know what i think about it It already passes the test this one is worth it no questions asked and my house is screwed up because i fixed my daughter's room first she has a beautiful clean room we still need to do some painting and fit the trim but i'm gonna do that all at once and i'm currently using her room as a toy storage now what do i think about the final comparison between these two as you notice in my videos, I don't show everything about these cars because I don't want to ruin the fun for you. If you want to go search these Lego videos, there's hundreds of videos on these cars, but I just give you the overall idea of what I think. This car right here is freaking awesome. I love it. It's very similar to this one. I don't want to ruin anything for you, but the hatch does not open, doors open, differential, V8, very cool independent wheel suspension very similar to this build but this is a very well put together car this is a beautiful model love it so much but they're kind of on the same level this one is a bit cooler but brand new this was 149 this was 169 i did pay 172 that's the total shipping and everything for this one and it is discontinued as you can see we got the boxes down there I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. I am buying these mainly to hold on to them for about five or six, seven years and then resell them for hopefully double the price. Like I said before, I am keeping that one forever. I am keeping that one forever. But like I said, I'm not trying to start a Lego channel or anything, but I do want to invent some of my own creations. So let's see what I got coming up as far as Legos. So you can clearly see the ones I bought and how much they cost. I got it for, well, it was 172 now, I'm going to be doing reviews on these fake Legos. We'll talk about the origin stories of what these are, but these two cars right here are the same size as these. 
but they are fake Legos that come from China. And I want you to look at those prices. And that's why I'm going to review these for you in case you have a kid or even you are thinking about, you know, you see these and you're like, man, I really want to buy those. But those prices, you know, they're a little bit intimidating. That's why we're going to review those two. And I promise you, those two are both the same size, but they're supposed to be a lot lower quality. And yeah, that's for the Jeep. Look what I scored here. This is $350 right now at the Lego a website. A rich person bought this. He had it like this. It fell on the floor. He didn't want to put it back together, so he listed it. It popped up $200. I bought it. It's coming. And I want you to look at this. Fake Legos right there. This is why I'm getting back into Legos, because I want to build a Rubicon like my Jeep with these fake ones. That's why I'm investing in these fake Legos because I can perfect the model and come up with a kit I can sell on eBay because when I come up with my Lego designs, they are going to be awesome. I don't play around. <clears throat> One of the biggest flaws in Lego cars is the pillar design. Nobody that designs Lego cars really works on cars. And there's also another flaw in this rear pillar or real, whatever you want to call that quarter panel area of the car. And I've already have ideas on building universal ones to make more realistic cars. You see how they actually utilize that? And that's why I love this car so much because this really is a beautiful freaking car. But like I said, I highly recommend all three of these. I will probably put these back in the boxes and then rebuild them probably next year or something like that. They're super fun to build. They take hours and they're totally awesome. But if you're just getting back into Legos, I promise you, go ahead and buy Dom's Charger. That thing is freaking awesome. You can play with that. You can let a little kid play with that. Nothing wrong with that model at all. I actually like it kind of better than both of these because you can play with it and let a kid play with it. You know, that's awesome. Look at this thing. It's freaking cool. Independent suspension all the way around. Rear differential. Functioning V8. No little steering thing up here, so that's a strike against it. But doors open. The hood or bonnet, whatever, doesn't open. No hatch opens up on it, but beautiful model. Very similar build to this one. So we still have that Defender coming. Just want to give you an idea of what's going on with the Legos on this channel. We're not going too crazy, but just let you know what I think about it. Totally passes the test. If you can get this for around $150, $160, you can always keep this, put it in a box. In a year or two or three, you might get $300 for that. That's what my plan is is with both of these to sell them for about $300 in the future. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.